Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti in questo nuovo video. Questo è il video finale del capitolo che in cui finalmente cominceremo Doc. Quindi, eccoci qui. Dobbiamo prima andare con Biff e vedere quel fatto dell'orologio. You beat up my dad. Do we have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we can work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Sì. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. Perché mi cavolo? Don't you hurt my dad, Biff. He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Uh... Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, I blow chunks whenever I even think about doing bad stuff. <coughs> See? Okay. Wait, you didn't beat up my dad then. Where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. <laughs> Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I'd been doing all day. I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Your watch. Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Hmm. Mod? Cool! Altre lettere. E mettiamo X. X11. Che? Eeeh. Ok, that's weird. Eeeh. Hai vedito mio padre? Did you attack my dad? Eeeh. Now we're getting somewhere. Potresti toccarti le punte dei piedi? Eeeh. Touch your toes? Eeeh. Hmm. Fare il ballo da qua qua. Do the chicken dance. Yeah, he's hypnotized, all right. Cos'è? Dove è il nostro mio padre? Where's the dad's tape? The decycling bin? Eh, vado a prendere. Do me a favor and go get my dad's tape. Andiamo. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, uh, uh. Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh. Hey, you can't go in there. Uh, uh, hey! Mm. Whoa. Uh. Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Oh, jeez. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Don't move hey. a muscle to fly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. Okay, so why? I got a really bad feeling about this. Well, here goes nothing. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first Citizen Plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? I do all that? Lord, I think I'm No, really. I don't remember doing anything like that. 
The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? <laughs> Ciao. McFly. Strickland. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Stop. Isn't that the license plate to your car? Shima? Tannen, focus. Uh, uh, Peter. Hey, look over there. Spear. Spear? What's going on? Biff, Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Ah, ah. You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I you can right. bring even the most rabid of dogs to heal. It's no use struggling, Mr. McFly, with Look! Girly Mags! Boobies! No! Where am I? Tannin! I should go the candy husband's back so you could wallow in your vices! Are those your favorite cigars? Cubans! Tannen, listen to me! Uh, babes. No, I don't be. Booze! Mommy? Okay. Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. A break? You sound like my wishy-washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tapes so I can... You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? Eh? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as uh, distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? Emmett! What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tannen. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence! Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. <clears throat> Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass, and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. Fine. Father, what a 
that I done? Doc, don't be so hard on yourself. This hill valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited and principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look. You can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you could accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. This is che tra l'altro è uguale, è quasi uguale al logo del cittadino Plus. Great Scott. Martin, this, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. <laughs> Hey. Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! Can we bring Ainy along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You didn't <laughs> say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Okay, so we're gonna thing. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. No, don't. Be huh? What is it, Ainy? Let's go. I ricordo. Hey, okay, so I'm gonna configure. Okay. Diciamo a tipo il boss del capitolo di fare la combinazione della sorte. I've been in a long time, you know. So you remember that witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. McFly, time to race the music. It's face the music, idiot. Hmm. Where are these Yeah, I said. Sick him. I said. No. Move the apple to the family. In cost of the kids ice cream. Reveal that in the capital of the world. Eh, what anti panico? Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Ainy. È il momento di andarsene in questo inferno. Stop! Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I totally laid him out with the old rule. No. Martin McFly. Edna? It's almost impressive. How many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours? Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. 
we've got everything under control. So, 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 so.